Good morning, it's uh, Lance here, best day over MTB, and we're back racing here at the COVID-19 World Series Enduro. This is an international event. I've invited some top riders. We've got Sam Hill coming, Martin Mays, Richie Rude, and for the women, Isabeau Cordoria, and everyone's favorite, Katie Winton. Now I know what you're thinking, Lance, how can you possibly hold an international enduro during a world shutdown and a pandemic? Um, and I wasn't too sure myself, but I like to think outside the box. I sent an email to Jacinda, and she got back to me with a reply. So I'll read you the rules. Number one, uh, everyone who races must be within your bubble, okay? Now, this did mean that Sam, Martin, and Richie uh, weren't able to come, and even, even Katie couldn't come. Um, so it does make the, the field significantly smaller, but the good news is my chance of getting on the podium, it looks very promising. Okay, rule number two, keep it local. Okay, this is a challenge as well, because I was going to use Tamiki and Rotorua, and then thought maybe Riverhead, but even neither of those are local. So what could be more local than the back of my house? So this is going to be where we're going to hold the COVID-19 enduro at the back of my house. Okay, rule number three. All right, this is a tricky one. Um, you've got to stay safe. Uh, we couldn't have St. John's turn up for this event, and uh, the health service, we've got to make sure that they're not overburdened by more mountain bikers with broken collarbones. So we've come up with some plans to, to, to deal with this. And what the rule is, you have to ride at no more than 67% of your maximum race pace. Uh, anyone who goes over that will be disqualified. So remember that, under 67%. Anyway, that's the rules. The event is going ahead. So I'm going to rush off to registration before the queues build up. All right, this must be race briefing. Hi. Hello, what's your name, please? Lance Eastman. Could you spell that, please? E-A-S-T-M-A-N. Are you that guy that makes those videos? Yeah, I do. Do you like them? No, not really, actually. Oh, okay. Okay, here is your race number. Oh, thank you. Here are your cable ties. Excellent. Here is the course map. Excellent, thank you. And briefing is at 10 o'clock sharp. All right, we'll see you there. See you then. Okay, while I'm putting my number plate on the bike, I'll just tell you a little bit about the course. Stage one is 1.2 kilometers long with 320 meters of descending and it's called uh, Sketchy Roots of Death. Um, stage two is uh, 1.4 kilometers long, same descending, 320 meters, and it's called Sketchy Log of Death. And stage three, the long one of the day, three and a half kilometers long, 500 meters of descending, and this one is the Sketchy Rock of Death. They will seem slightly shorter because I have edited them down for you. Okay, riders, this race has got three stages. You can do them in any order. It's just one rule, and that is do not fall off. All right, we're at stage one. Name, please. Uh, Lance Eastman. Okay, Lance, I would go on my countdown. Five, four, three, two, one. All right, we're off on stage one. Oh, remember, 67% of race pace. She's tight, real tight. Oh, oh, he's stalled a bit. All right, tight turn here. Whoa, super tight. Whoa, and slippery. Oh, shit. Time so far. Oh, excellent. Whew, that was a long track, that one. Whew. Now, you may be wondering why I'm not riding an e-bike today, why I'm riding my normal uh, Enduro, my Zero Tanifa. Well, a couple of reasons. One, due to the reduced field, there was no e-bike class. And secondly, it was my one opportunity to get on the podium in a normal Enduro on a normal style Enduro bike. So I've taken my chance, and yeah, I'm going to ride the Tanifa today. Four, three, two, one, go. Ooh, a good start. <laughs> All right, how, do, how am I doing so far? Well, it's close, but you're doing really well. Oh, I'm so excited. Yeah. Stage three to go, Queen stage. Awesome job. <laughs> okay, we should probably talk about sponsors for this event. Uh, Maxis, Fox, 
Raceface and SRAM, all big companies, none of them have sponsored this event. Um, in fact, the only sponsor I have got is my trusty sponsor that's been with me since the start. They provided all the drinks for this event. It's uh, Westy Water, 98% pure. Uh, you may wonder what the other 2% is, uh, mostly bird poo. Um, but anyway, I can have unlimited supply of this, um, unless of course there's a drought and maybe have to cut back a little bit. So um, thanks Westy Water for sponsoring us today. All right, third and final stage. Great. Now this is a queen stage. Don't forget there is a special prize for the queen stage. So I'm going to count you down. Five, four, three, two, one, go. Oh, where away. Whoa. 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 How do I do? How do I do? Now if you're a follower of my videos, you'll know my wife is quite the athlete and has a big collection of trophies and medals and so when she found out that there was a fairly small women's field and there was a good chance she could get on the podium, she decided to enter and take part. She did have to walk some of the course, um, but I think she did really well. There were certainly some really nice trophies for the uh, COVID Enduro World Series, uh, the usual spot prizes, and even a very special prize for the winner of the Queen stage. A year ago, I thought completing an EWS race was a major achievement for me, and here I am winning a World uh, Enduro event, um, even took out the Queen stage. I'm absolutely thrilled. My wife even took out the women's field despite having to walk some of the course. Well, that was the COVID-19 Enduro. Pretty happy to come away with a win on that one. Um, I hope you liked the video. Um, not trying to make light of the situation we're all in. Must admit, I have had a fair few sleepless nights wondering if my life savings have all gone down the toilet. But anyway, you've got to have a bit of lighthearted relief. If you like the video, um, click on the old logo here to subscribe, do the old like, thumbs up, you know, maybe even leave a comment and let me know what other videos you'd like to see um, while we're all in lockdown. But anyway, Look forward to seeing you back on the trails one day and uh, take care of yourself.